Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so hi Kenya, good evening. Hi lady, great to see you there. Uh, Mauricio, you know that, how you doing? Damaris, good evening. How are you good guys? Evening. Good evening teacher. Hi, welcome to Thursday session. Thank you so much for joining. And it's really, really nice to see you. Guys, a quick question. Uh, ¿Se escucha mucha música en mi audio? <laughs> ¿Se escucha como mucho ruido or not much? Normal. Oh, okay. Nice. That's really good. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que acá están celebrando, creo que al igual que like in a lot of places, Christmas, first day of December, and like, oh, it's so noisy. But thank you. Si no me escuchan, let me know, please. O si, escuch si se escucha más el sonido, right? Let me know as well. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Are you working? Yes, I am working, but uh, um, five minutes, uh, I go into my house. Oh, nice. So you're going early. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Wow, so you're having, I believe, or I guess, uh, December is the hardest for you, right? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. But but then, when are, like, the hardest days for you? Like, the beginning of December, the weekends, or, the, like, the ending of the year? Um, el, the weekend, teacher. Week, ah, okay. okay. Yes. And well. 10 minutes, uh, siendo la cámara. Ah, no worries, no worries. Stay your time. That is totally fine. Thank uh, you, teacher. Just be careful, miss. You're so welcome. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. Salvador, I'm glad to see you. Good evening. Um, Abigail, uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, let me see. Georgina, good evening. Just guys, uh, do me a big favor. Um, Abigail, si me escucha, solo um, en su nombre quitémosle la palabra oyente, please. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye uh, en su mensajito para que no me le vaya a aparecer en su registro and we don't like get into trouble uh, for that. So I think I also saw Mr. Ah, yes, Mr. Sanchez. Hi, Mr. Sanchez. How you doing? Everything all right? Is your Thursday good? Hello. Good Hi, evening. good evening. Are you all right? Are you doing fine? Yes, thank you. Okay, good to hear that. Well, I know, guys, uh, el, ya el fin de semana is like coming, nos está llamando. <laughs> it's dragging us too, but we're going to give it a try, But right? Vamos a intentar trabajar un poquito with part of the topics we have. And, uh, gracias, guys, por avanzar con la plataforma too. Veo que algunos ya casi no me terminan la número dos, so that is really nice. Now, uh, ¿qué vamos a trabajar ahora, guys? Part of the contents for today es revisar eh, be allowed to, so vamos a revisar cómo hablar de instrucciones, eh, a little bit of, a little bit of the things you can do, um, you are permitted to do, pero antes vamos a revisar también eh, some of the vocabulary que iniciamos ayer, and because of time, <coughs> no pudimos practicar enough, That was describe places in, um, like describe how to get to a place in an office, in like a town, or a little bit of general, right? So uh, let's get started, guys. And uh, here, I have a little intro. I have a little warm up for you. It says short debate. And I have a little debate, guys, so you can express your opinions. Uh, you can say what you think, Michelle, good evening, uh, Lady, good evening, Julio Cesar, hello, hi, Ezequiel, good evening, thank you for joining as well. Um, the debate, evening, guys. Teacher. teacher, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm practicing the guitar y estaré como oyente. Oh, okay, all right, thank you, thank you okay. for that. 
Um, so guys, here we have, do you prefer to work from home or on site? You know that uh, with like COVID-19 and a lot of those things, algunos empleos, no todos, claro, but um, some places uh, had the chance, right? Uh, to stay at home, uh, to work from home. Now, uh, guys, ¿quién de ustedes estuvo desde casa? Who was doing home office? Nobody? No. No, teacher. No, well, I know that some jobs are not possible, but in most of your cases, guys, um, nobody was from home. A todos les tocó ir a trabajar. Most of you, like, got to work or went to the office. Yes, teacher, I went to the office. Oh, to my the time. God. Okay, okay, okay. Teacher, I yes. work at home for um, uh, seven months, maybe. Okay. How was your experience? Did you like it? Or do you prefer, like, working on site? I like to, to work company? at home because I um, este, um, spend more time uh, working. I is the organize different my activities because mm -hmm. um, I wake up early, but I um, eh, me tardo en llegar al trabajo. Eh, one over one hour is eh, 30 minutes. Wow, and I, in traffic. Yes. And wow. at, at night it's difficult too. Mm -hmm. And when I was working at home, I este I start work me more early and okay. I finish more late and after that I do exercise mm -hmm. at home too and, ah, and, okay. and I, I have time for more activities ah, okay I agree on that with you so yeah you do have more time you have less stress because uh, you do, you are not in traffic. But you said that you spend one hour thirty in traffic, like every day, in the yes. morning and in the evening. Yes. What time do you finish work? At six. Ah, so you, are, are you are you home already? Not yet. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand like, the question. Like in this very moment, are you home? Are you home yet? Yes, right now ah. at home. Yes. But ah, okay. Uh, I uh, came back late at 8.30 and for the reason I be in the class in the in the micro bus. Wow, okay. Wow, that's something definitely to admire because it's really hard, you know, to do that. And but... other, other thing uh, was I eat better because I eat more healthy food Yes. And I este, adelgacé in this time. And right now, when I come back to work, <laughs> ya estoy engordando otra vez. <laughs> so the, you put on weight. The fast food is bad. You put on weight. Yes, yeah. I agree yeah. on that. Because um, For the reason, I prefer to work at home. Ah, okay. Amazing, amazing. So we already have like Kenya's uh, opinion because she has like been in both sides, on site and at home. Guys, what about you? Probably you haven't had the opportunity to be at home because of your work, because of what you do. But what do you think it's better? Is it better to be at home or is it better to be in an office, to be in your company? to see your co-workers every day. What do you think, guys? I have to be honest. For classes, I prefer on-site. I prefer to have face-to-face -face interaction. But I like working from home or home office because I save money. I don't spend money on gasoline. I can work late. 
and it's okay. I can get up uh, later than normal, so I think it's okay. Guys, what do you think? What do you think it's better? Uh, working from home or on site? Tell us about your experience, guys. Outside, teacher. Like on site, on the company? Yes. Why? Why on site? Because it's money. <laughs> Seguro. I know, but from home too. Working from home is money too. Ah, uh, yes. Or, or what do you mean? Or what do you mean? Um, in negocio or algo, uh, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. In my house, I don't like it, teacher. Ah, okay. So you don't like it. Oh, but the matter is, it's because in your, in your case, um, no hay forma. There is no way that you can work from home. Normalmente working from home le llamamos a los que hace, hacemos tele, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Like Zoom. home office. Ajá, uh, so le llamamos like home ah, office. Ah, yes, right? I like it. Mm -hmm. So you can spend in your, you can stay in your house and continue working. Algunos empleos como, for example, accountants, uh, some managers, some supervisors, um, yeah, especially accountants, lawyers, that is more common that they can do home office. But in your case, Amaris, oh my God, that would be so difficult. Como puede mandar un cocktail? <laughs> That's almost like impossible. So, yes, sure. that's, that's hard. Yes, yes, tell us. The call center is yes. a word of the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, so telemarketing, uh, that's the word. Um, yeah, call center, so, exactly. Um, work in the house. Yes, so they can work, exactly. Right. You are doing right, so they can work at home. And uh, uh, and that's totally fine, right? Yeah, creo que es que nadie tuvo like, guys, nobody has stayed at home. I'm like super impressed that only Kenya did. Jorge, Mauricio, guys, tenemos accountants here. Do we have any accountants? Um, teacher for me, yes. is teacher for me is better work in my office because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I consider it concent focus concentrate or concentra mm -hmm. se concentra mejor un, se concentra uh, yeah. you más. can use focus yeah. you can uh, focus uh, okay. uh, because I I can focus more okay Oh, okay. In me, in, in my house. It's like the picture. <laughs> yeah. So in your me, house, me do you have me, baby? Me yeah. Okay, so in your house, you cannot concentrate. I, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Jorge, Julio, alguien más es accountant o trabaja like in, in an office, lady, Salvador. Guys, what do you do? I just know about a couple of you guys. Uh, Georgina, alguien es abogado? Are you a lawyer? Andrea, no way. Accountant. Ah, okay, so you're an accountant. Okay, yeah, but did you work? Um, did you work at home? La dejaron trabajando desde casa. Did you work at home? Only um, for COVID nineteen. <laughs> Ah, okay, exactly, exactly. Did you like it? Um, uh, so, so. Or, or do you prefer to go to the company? Mm, um, creo que depende de las condiciones. Uh, okay, for, um, and in your job? So, tomemos su empleo. Let's take your job as a reference. Um, and yes, I like it. 
Delighted? Okay. Uh, okay, why? Why did you like it? Um, um I get I grab um more layer. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Five minutes to work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you got up later. Se levantaba más tarde. All right. ¿Qué más? What else? Mm, el, evito el viaje. Okay, so you avoid a stress or traveling or moving. Mm -hmm. Anything else? ¿Algo más? Any other reason? Okay, no, so, only. oh, okay, okay. Well, but yes, yeah, so levantarse tarde, waking up late is a blessing. I totally, totally get that. All right, guys, uh, what about the rest of you? Nadie más, nobody else? Okay, okay, sounds all right. Sounds okay, so no problem. <clears throat> I guess it's because we didn't have the chance uh, to work from home, but but guys, it's a really beautiful thing. All right, um, antes de seguir, guys, before moving on, eh, vamos a revisar rapidito <clears throat> parte del tema que teníamos ayer, part of the topic we had from yesterday. Because uh, we didn't have a lot of time to practice, and vamos a practicar un poquito. We're going to practice here a little bit of uh, how to give directions. Um, guys, if you remember yesterday, we used some expressions like turn left, turn right, uh, go ahead, go straight, walk straight, para dar direcciones, right? Go to the end of the street. Uh, and also, revisamos un poquito de preposiciones, how to talk about places, a dónde está cada cosa, where is everything, like in, on, under, in front of, etc. Um, so, vamos a ver un diagrama. We're going to, like, check a diagram here. This is in your material, in page number 23. No está muy claro. It is not very clear. No sé si lo logran ver, guys. Can you see that? Se entiende el diagrama. Can you understand the diagram? No. Can you see the letters? No. No. Okay, yeah, I, I know. Um, yo soy medio ciega ya, and for me it's a little hard to see, to be honest. And uh, especialmente las divisiones acá, son un poquito difíciles de leer. Okay, so guys, no nos vamos a complicar much. Eh, no nos vamos a esforzar tampoco. Ah, ok. Um, wait, denme un segundo, Abigail. Creo que... Ay, perdón. No les estoy compartiendo la pantalla. I'm sorry about that. Uh, ¿La ven ahora? Do you see that now? I'm sorry about that. ¿23? ¿La logran ver? ¿Can you see that? Yes. Se identifica, guys. Pueden ver, el, eh, logran identificar el diagrama. Do you see this one? A little. Okay, a little bye. bye, okay. Yeah, eh, intentemos then. Let's give it a try. Veamos si podemos eh, use the diagram here. Si ustedes tienen su material and y se ve más grande your material, please have it from there para que no nos esforcemos mucho. So look at it. It says put the diagram, I'm sorry, see the diagram of the REX facility and identify places. Here, you will see some letters. For example, letter F, this is the quality control. So we have letter F right here. Letter H, this is the exit. Letter I, that is the parking space or the parking lot. Letter B, we have the reception area. So, what we're going to do is the following. Vamos a intentar dar direcciones como llegar a estos lugares. You are at the parking and you have these questions. 
So, vamos a empezar, guys. We're going to get started in the parking. Eh, so, estamos in the parking. Give me one second. Solo lo voy a señalar acá. I'm just going to sign it. Uh, okay. So, I'm here. Estoy en el parqueo. And uh, I want to ask about some specific places. Quiero saber cómo llegar a algunos lugares. How to get to some places. Más abajito, a little bit lower. Ok, tenemos las siguientes preguntas. We do have the following question. Where are the restrooms? So vamos a buscar restrooms, restroom, letter G. Entonces buscamos letter G y vamos a intentar de, dar la dirección. ¿Cómo llego? How can I get? Desde el parking lot hasta el restroom, right? Imagínense que es una empresa. Imagine this is your company. Hay muchas, eh, acá hay muchas entraditas, right? Hay muchas puertas. Um, so you can see a lot of eh, doors, for example, estas son puertas, these are doors, uh, these are like some open spaces. Acá hay más puertecitas, right? So we have like a lot of doors para que ustedes se vayan guiando. So you can get these places. The other one says, where is the quality control? Siempre voy a estar over here. So I'm going to be right here in the parking lot. And where is the quality control? Quality control eh, is letter F. Entonces, del parqueo, ¿cómo puedo llegar? How can I get to letter F? Eh, vamos a asumir, uh, we're going to assume, guys, que la entrada está por acá. So we're going to assume that the entrance uh, to this place está como por acá. Logran ver otra entrada, guys. Do you see another entrance? Mm -hmm. All right. Es que I'm sorry, guys. Yo estoy medio ciega, but si ustedes ven otra entrada, let us know. Avísenos, please, and, and we can use that one better. So, entramos por acá, right? So, we are going to get started here. Y nos vamos a tener que mover. So we gotta move hasta letter F. So cómo nos moveríamos? How would you move? Y si se fijan acá hay como divisiones. So estos son lugares. Obviamente hay que como dar la vuelta. So you have to move and you have to uh, walk to go to the next area. So uh, tenemos cuatro. We have four. Son los que vamos a practicar. But of course. Ustedes pueden dar un poquito más instrucciones. Um, el mapa es un poquito blurry. Está como uh, un poquito no claro. Así que, guys, utilicen, you know, your creativity to, uh, your creativity to give some instructions. Again, tenemos uh, go straight. Que era vaya a ser recto. Turn left. What is the meaning of turn left? ¿Qué se recuerdan de esto? Doblar a la izquierda. izquierda. Ok, doblar turn la left, izquierda. turn right, ¿qué es? Doblar a la derecha. Doblar a la derecha. Walk 10 meters, right, 20 meters, etc. Walk through the production area, so camina a través de cuando son áreas que debo de cruzar, por ejemplo, acá la letter C, letter A, o debo de cruzar todo este pedazo, yo le puedo decir walk through, camina a través de. Walk through. Y luego llegamos a este lugar. Then we get to the place. Um, so, guys, vamos a intentar dar direcciones. Again, eh, no es necesario que le tomen captura. Esta es la página 23. This is page number 23. Para que practiquemos, right? Tenemos cinco minutos. We have five minutes. Give me just a moment. I'm going to send you to some groups. Um, so you can go ahead there and practice. Um, one second. Okay. Let me just take a look here. Okay, so Abigail, Georgina, Hector, Mauricio, and Damaris, quédense acá. Um, bueno, no sé si alguien es listener de ustedes. Quédense acá, guys, un momento. Eh, pueden utilizar e-session. Guys, los demás vamos a la sesión, please. Practicamos Ahorita un momento. Vemos 19. Let's practice a moment. 20 creo que es el límite. So let's practice a moment. Um, so we can take some time and review how to give directions. 
So guys, vamos a los grupos, please. Let's go to the groups. And Abigail, Georgina, Hector, Mauricio, and Damaris, can sit acá, please stay here. Pueden utilizar acá, you can use it here eh, para compartir la pantalla, you know, and uh, also to practice this. So there you go. Vamos a los grupos, guys. Let's go to the groups. Uh, Blanca, let's go to the group. Uh, Salvador, Ezequiel. Um, Abigail. Hello, Georgina. Hello. Okay. Ezequiel, también, ¿verdad? Y, ¿Y quién más? Hello, Damaris. Da, Damaris, okay. Eh, comencemos. No ha dado específica la... la Ah, ¿qué, ¿Qué vamos? Pa? Nosotros vamos a elegir el, el área. Hola, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Vaya, comencemos con la primera, entonces. Que dice, where are the rest room? El G. Soy yo, no está compartida la, la pantalla que dijo la teacher que iba a poner. No ah, está compartida, no la no veo. No está compartida. Hoy oh, sí. Ahí está. Ah, pero bueno, comenzamos con la primera, pues, eh, Georgina. Sí. Georgina, where sí. are the rest rooms? Y si le eres G. En el letter. Letter G. G. Um, the rest room. Okay. You ¿Cuál stay, es el punto de partida? Eh, parking. You stay uh, the parking. Eh, parking. Mm, eh, turn on. Ver, mm, turn. Eh, eh, go straight, go straight, creo, walk. Ajá. Go straight, go, go straight. walk. Uh, Creo que también podría ser walk through. No, porque tiene que cruzar toda la área de planning. Sí, pero vaya, si estamos en el parqueo, caminamos cinco metros, doblamos a la derecha y ahí donde dice lo que usted dice, ¿va? walk drop, eh, planning area, en walk drop, en... The production area. In front. In front. Stay. Stay. Restroom. De acuerdo, escucharon. Yo como yo no veo puertas ahí, me de, de, de. solo. Sí, yo no veo puertas. <risa> <risa> no sé por dónde entrar. Bye. Entonces, ¿Cuál hagamos es lo que no hay puerta, start? pues. Vea. Pa, ya está, ya, ya está el restroom. Ay, What? ay, no. Es que las puertas están, no están tan claras. No uh -huh. very clear. Pero, asumamos, let's assume, que las puertas son estos espacios libres, right? Uh, for example, los que están acá abiertitos, the ones that are here like open, estas son puertecitas también. Vamos a asumir que este espacio también es una, una puerta. Let's assume mm -hmm. that this is a door. <coughs> Sorry. Son los espacios que están así, vamos a asumir que son puertas. <laughs> We're okay. going to take it as a door. Okay. What is the star area? Parking. Hello, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. What is the question? Yeah. What, what is the star area? Uh, the star in the parking. 
Comenzaste desde el parqueo. Y este, ¿Dónde está la, la área de inicio? Ese parking, este es el I, letter L. Ok. ¿De ahí vamos a partir? Sí, de ahí. Para todas esas direcciones que tenemos. Ok. Ah, mejor la, el de ayer con dibujitos de color. <ríe> Sí, pero bueno. Yo creo que ya lo, ya lo vamos a cambiar, but wait. <laughs> This is too difficult, right? Ok, sigamos entonces mientras lo cambien. Ok. Ok. Um... Bueno. Esta, esta sería la área de empiezo, inicio. Sí. Where okay. is the quality control? Es F. Control de calidad. Yes. Ya. Yeah. Sorry. Letter F. Letter F. Ok, casi, casi lo mismo, va. Go straight, walk a eh, five meters, turn the, turn the right, eh, walk a two meters, turn the left, eh, walk a... Yeah, five meters. And turn the left. There is our office. Letter F. Vaya, hagamos, yes. Yes. hagamos la tercera entonces. Where is the manager office? ¿Quién puede describirlo? Letter D. What letter is? Letter D. Um, Georgina. Goes. Yeah. Come on. I can't. Is it? Is difficult. Letter D. <laughs> Podríamos usar. Walk okay. 10 meters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And go straight. Uh -huh. Walk. So guys, I'm going to um so I'm going to change this graph because I think that you're finding it a little hard to understand. So let me change it for another map and we can ask about some places. Give me a second. Okay, teacher. Uh, can you see the map? Okay. Give me just Hello. a moment. Uh, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let, okay. All right, guys, so let's use this map as reference. I think it's easier and faster. The starting point, it's going to be in the arrow. So um, we are going to be right outside the top shop. And I'm going to circle the places uh, where you need to go. Bye. Ya, ya tenemos dónde vamos a empezar, definamos dónde queremos llegar. Ok. Courthouse. Videos. Ya. Yeah. Coffee. Georgina. Where are the courthouse?
Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, uh, go uh, straight. Go straight, sí. Yeah. Um, uh, walk uh, uh, five minutes. Uh -huh. ¿De? Um, te, puedo, te puedo ayudar, Georgina. Yes. Go straight, walk to block en the Marketer Boulevard. Don the right, walk in the First Avenue, one block across a Tortoise Lane in the corner, Court House. ¿Están de acuerdo? Yes. Vale. De, yes, demos la ubicación okay. de la farmacia. Farmacy. Cogalón. To right. One block. Uh -huh. In front of City Park. Ya, doctor. Eh, the, the video. Who gave me the kitchen video? Eh, Damari? ¿Puedes llamar? Eh, yes, eh, solo me estoy conectando en la computadora porque acabo eh, de llegar a la casa. Excelente. Bueno, ¿alguien más? Bueno. Google hey, Street. Um, Héctor. Démosle, Héctor. Go, Google Street. To block. To right. To left. Ajá. Uh, to left, my lawyer strip. Uh -huh. Walk 10 minutes. And between bakery and gas yes, station. Yes, yes. Oh, cool. In front of the theater. theater. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Está bien. Uh, coffee? Who? Who give me the ubication the coffee? Jorge? Okay, go stray. On the right, walk to block across the Mayor Strip in the corner, coffee in front of the doctor office. Yeah. Okay. Alguien, alguien One que more quiera. Time. One Ajá, more una time. Vez. Ok, hagámoslo. Where is the court house? Court, court house. Yeah. yeah. Ah, ok. Try ahead, walk at two block. Eh, Turn the rest and walk up First Avenue, 
across the torture lane, uh, stay courthouse in front of the bookstore, about the shop. Can I? Podemos llegar de otra manera, podemos decir, podemos, demos otra dirección entonces para llegar al mismo lugar. Yes. Eh, ¿De ¿Qué camino acaban de, de, de elegir? ¿A qué camino estaban haciendo? Eh, First Avenue. Uh, ese es el segundo, el segundo camino. Vamos a hacer un segundo camino. Sí, como hay diferentes formas de llegar. ¿verdad? No importa cómo lleguemos, pero el objetivo es llegar. ¿verdad? Eh, sería la, la dirección. Sí. Ajá, sería Wall Street String by eh, Material Boulevard en en donde Ajá. Ajá. Cruce a la derecha, Eva. Ajá, sí. Cross to 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 right is for Pierce Avenue. Uh huh. Walker Pierce Avenue. In. Para court courthouse, vamos, va. Sí, courthouse. Creo que ese sería uno. Sí. Okay. El otro camino sería, si empezamos de Toy Shop, work uh, one block in the Third Avenue, donde, donde left, and work a uh, 30 lane, two block in the corner, stay courthouse, Next to the city park. Yes. También por la Mayor Street. Mayor Street. Can I, uh -huh, uh -huh. Can I go in the airplane? Uh -huh. Yes, you can. Can I go in the airplane? <laughs> yes. <Yeah, laughs> <and laughs> Why do you want to go in an airplane? <laughs> it's I mean, a joke. Uh, I mean, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea is to walk and do exercise. So. <laughs> okay. yes. Guys, do you find it difficult to give instructions or to, to, to describe places, how to get to a place? Lo encuentran difícil. Do you find it difficult? Uh, for me, teacher. Not much. Normal. Okay. Okay. What is the, the difficult part? ¿Qué es lo que encuentra difícil? Um, ¿El recordarse cómo darles instrucciones? Or... Yes, teacher. Es que ayer nos, o sea, sí estaba escuchando, pero no estuve muy pendiente de la clase y, y hoy acabo de salir y no pude darle el repaso a la, a la clase ah, de ayer. Okay, Ajá. Okay. Entonces, por eso es que como que no me estoy ubicando es bien. Cierto, Miss, ya, ya está en su casa. <risa> Sí, ahorita, teacher. Wow, ok. Thank you, Miss Letter. Por, por siempre estar ahí súper pendiente. Um, ok, so mientras los demás regresan, while the rest come back, revisemos eh, un par de expresiones que son bien útiles. So, tenemos here. So, tenemos go ahead, right? Como vaya ser recto. Walk ahead, walk straight, or go straight, turn right, mueva hacia la derecha, o gire a la derecha, turn left, gire a la izquierda. Uh, veíamos también go to the end of the street, vaya hacia el final de la calle, mm -hmm. go to the end of the street. And of course, tenemos un poquito también de cross the street. Yeah, cross. So cross the street. 
Um, entonces, es, eh, normalmente cuando le decimos a alguien, eh, por ejemplo, estamos acá y le quiero decir que doble a la derecha y luego se vaya al final de la calle, para eso es que me van a servir estas mm -hmm. instrucciones que están acá. So, I can tell somebody, por ejemplo, eh, estoy acá, right? In the toy shop, vamos al café. So, you can tell somebody, eh, turn, turn right, okay. doble okay. a la derecha, turn right. Le puedo decir el nombre de la calle. Turn right on Third Avenue. Váyase al final de la calle. Digamos que ahí termina. So I can tell somebody, go to the end of the street. And the cafe is opposite the gas station. Or the cafe is uh -huh. on the corner of the street. The cafe is across from the doctor's office. Entonces, eh, no es solamente una forma de dar indicaciones siempre y cuando. El compañero no me lo deje perdido. <laughs> we are fine. So we are definitely good. Um, but estas expresiones son bien útiles. So I'll go ahead. Eh, guys, ¿de qué otra forma puedo decirle para llegar al café? ¿De qué forma lo, lo dirían? So turn right, doble a la derecha y luego. What? Go to the end right. of the street. Go to the end of the street. Ok, ¿de qué otra forma en vez de go to the end of the street? Water strike. Go, uh -huh. ajá, avenue. walk straight. Camine recto, walk straight on third avenue. Exactly, le puedo decir camine recto por dos bloques o por dos cuadras. Go ahead for two blocks. Yeah. Walk ahead for two blocks. Exactly. No necesariamente to the end of the street, sino dos bloques, right? Y, Hay y muchas formas. Across mm -hmm. Marjorie Street in your uh, right hand stay coffee. Mm, it is on, ah, oh, yes. Le puedo decir, está en la esquina de Third Avenue yeah. y Marjorie Street. So yeah. the cafe is on the corner of Third Avenue en Majory Street, opposite the gas station. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Hay muchas formas. There are a lot of different ways eh, to give instructions. Deme un momento, voy a traer a los chicos tú. Um, so we can like come and check super quick what we got there. Uh, but la clave eh, here, eh, Damaris, está en memorizarse que están las expresiones. So, o al menos el verbo, right? So, ¿cuál es el verbo? ¿Cuál es la expresión? Para que sea más fácil. Yeah, teacher, so eso estoy haciendo, notándolo. Yes, yes, it's easier. Um, if not, eh, igual en el módulo 1 tenían un poquito de direcciones. Y acá en su libro, en el manual, in page, en la 23, in page number 23, está nuevamente este tema. So, eh, no hay mucho, but no, tenemos como una idea, right? We can get an idea. Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining. Teacher, sorry, yo no. Hola, hola. ¿Dónde está el, el libro, teacher? Yo no lo encuentro. Este mapa no está. El que estaba en el, en el, en el material es un graf. Es el gráfico pero creo que está un poquito difícil de leerlo. That was kind of hard to read. Uh, por eso no, les no. compartí eso mejor. O oh, el que, perdón, Héctor. Por, ¿dónde, no, el libro, el libro, ¿dónde está? Hay una plataforma donde está el libro. Ah, yes, of course. Guys, no he encontrado el libro. You haven't found it. Deme un segundo. Oh, qué raro, deme un momento. Give me one moment. Es, esto se me va a borrar, entonces les dejo las expresiones en el chat para que ustedes las guarden por ahí. So you can keep them somewhere. Eh, denme un segundo. Eh, guys, ¿no, las han, ¿no han encontrado el material? You haven't found the material. Eh, permítanme. Um, déjenme ver, pues yo creería que de ahí lo descargué. Let me show you. If not, eh, voy a pedir ayuda a los compañeros. Está acá, guys, en la parte de arriba donde dice Discussion. Eso es lo que les aparece a ustedes. Está Students Manual eh, P5. Es 1, 2, 3, 4. Es la 5, eh, la menu number 5. Y acá lo tiene. So, it is right here. PN, 
IT05, si se fijan está cargando, tiene 49 páginas. Y ahí está. So, Students Manual Beginning and this is module number five. Guys, no lo han descargado todavía. You haven't downloaded that one? Yes, teacher, I have the material. Ah, ok, ok, good, good, good. Guys, si todavía no lo, no lo habían encontrado, eh, los libros siempre están en esta opción, en el menú de la plataforma. Si usted quiere, por ejemplo, el libro 1, váyase a su módulo 1, si todavía está abierto, y lo puede descargar. So, eh, esto queda abierto, guys. This is for you. Ok, so, coming back really quick. Revisemos, guys, un poquito las like direcciones, how to give the instructions. Yesterday practicamos súper poquito. Eh, so, uh, quería asegurarme, you know, that we got this co uh, topic covered. Eh, and let me have just some people here. So, iniciamos in the bank. Vamos a cambiarle un poquito de lugar. I'm going to change place. Um, I'm leaving the bank. I'm right there on First Street. Um, so, excuse me, uh, Georgina, are you here? Está con nosotros? Are you with us? Yes. <laughs> okay, so, Georgina, um, I'm sorry, I am lost. And I am feeling really sick. I need to get some medicine. Um, where is, is there a pharmacy here? Okay, um, uh, turn, um, uh, turn, uh, turn, uh, uh, right for the, uh, wait, voy a ir siguiéndole, uh, so turn right, por acá, uh -huh. Uh -huh. for the, um, Maker Boulevard. Okay. Uh, one block. Okay. And turn, turn uh, right. Como vamos hacia abajo, póngase, cambiese de posición. <laughs> vamos, a, so, so, vamos a ver acá como que somos, you know, el de exorcist. <laughs> But it is important. Cambiese de posición. Usted está viendo ahora que abajo. You're, oh, you're way down. So turn right or turn, turn left? Turn left. Turn left. <laughs> okay, so turn left. Uh huh. Uh, uh, go a uh, uh, a string. Go straight. Va a ser recto, but go straight. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> y ya. <laughs> Okay, dígame lugares de referencia. Give me places as reference, um, please. Um, um, in front of uh, City Park. Ah, okay. So the pharmacy is in front of the City Park. Very uh, nice. Uh, Operation uh, Policeman uh, Station. Okay, uh, opposite. Okay, so it is opposite the police station. All right. Or it is next to the fire station. Very nice. Really, really nice. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so let me choose another victim here. Um, excuse me, Mr. Narvaez. Hi, Jorge. Good evening. Good Jorge? evening, teacher. Hi, hi. Good evening. So, Mr. Narvaez, I'm here. I'm at the bank. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, can you please help me? I am looking for um, a bakery. I would like to buy some semita and I would like to buy something for my friends. Um, they would like to taste Salvadorian bread. How can I get to a bakery? Um... Take it straight first avenue. First avenue. Okay. It's three, one block, two blocks, three blocks. How many blocks? Uh, one block. Okay, so go for one block. Okay. To, to right. Okay. To right. Go strip. Uh, to left. 
Okay. So turn right, uh, go straight and turn left. Okay. Uh, go straight and Bakri is from the CTJ. Oh, okay, uh, okay. So go straight and the bakery is in front of the city jail. Yeah, that works actually. Sounds really nice. Okay. So go Teacher, straight. Yes, go straight. tell me. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí eh, que está a la par de flower shop uh -huh. is continue. Mm, it's next to. Ah. So we use next to. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher. So the bakery is in front of the city hall. Or the bakery is next to the flower shop. Or hay una expresión también que usamos que es past. Uh, or go past. Como vaya pasando, right? Inmediatamente después. And you can, uh, for example, here me puede decir. Um, so on second, okay, so turn left and go past the flower shop. The bakery is next to it or the bakery is uh, on the corner of the street. So here, guys, no hay respuesta correcta. There is not a correct answer. O solamente one answer. Siempre y cuando me lleven al lugar, it's okay. That's totally fine. Claro, la idea es decir lo menos posible, right? Con menos eh, palabras. Hacer que alguien llegue o entiende cómo llegar. Si no, nos vamos a perder. But very nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Narvaez. Uh, let me just pick somebody else. Um, Noé, are you here? Are you with us? Uh, Noé, veo su micrófono. I see your mic. Your mic open, pero no lo escucho. I can hear you. Usted me escucha, Noé. Can you hear me? No, eh? Sí, yo creo que sí, fíjense. Lo escucho como un poquito de, de ruidito de micrófono, pero no escucho su voz. Uh, si está con audífonos, intente removerlos, intente quitar el audífono. Probemos con altavoz, está en el teléfono. Teacher. Ahora sí. Yes, pues sí, I can hear. Sí, yes. <risa> Quizás el audífono. Si son sí, Bluetooth, sí, cuando se están quedando como sin carga, también, you know. They sí. give a lot of issues. Ok, ok. But very nice. I'm glad. Ok, sí. so, uh, no, I, I have a big problem. Eh, I bought some semita some minutes ago, but I have a terrible stomachache. Um, so I think I need to go to the hospital. Um, so uh, where is the closest hospital? I am at the bakery. You need to go to the, to the hospital. Yes, I think I need to go to the hospital because I have a diarrhea and I have a terrible stomachache. So how can I get to the hospital? And you are? I am at the bakery because I'm, I was buying some bread and uh, I just need to go to the, maybe the city hospital is okay for me because I don't have money to pay for a private hospital. You, you need to go to the, to the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go left and then? And then... Um, se diría, ir para abajo? <laughs> ah, guys, ayudemos a Noé. ¿Cómo digo ir hacia abajo? ¿Se recuerda? Ya se que estábamos practicando con las manos. ¿Cómo digo ve hacia abajo o baje? Go. Go down. Go down. Go down. Very nice. Go down. Uh -huh. You need to go to the left and then go down okay how many blocks one block two blocks three blocks uh, one block 
Okay, so go down one block. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I am at the corner of the street. And then? You need to go down one block. Okay, so I do I go straight? Go, do I go down? Me puede decir que gire ahí? So you can tell me like to turn. Yes. Uh, after that, you need to go down. Mm, okay, okay. So just make sure. Go down. Eh, seguiría sobre Second Avenue. I will continue over here. So giro, do I, do I turn? Or do I continue on Second Avenue? Hay um, varias formas de llegar, so you decide. Uh, you need to go to the left, right there. Okay, so, okay, mm -hmm. so turn left. Um, <laughs> and, no sé, ahí estaría el hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, <laughs> dígame que ya llegue. <laughs> Okay, you can say, and there you are. Uh, and there you are. Y podemos usar la expresión, no se puede perder, mi, que barbaridad. <laughs> so you can tell me, you can't miss it. So you can miss it, es como, es que no es posible que no lo vea, right? No se puede perder, so you can't miss it. Uh -huh. Yes, that works, that definitely works. Um, always we can give like references too. For example, the city hospital is after the pharmacy or the city hospital is on the 3rd Avenue and 3rd Lane. So we can give like some places, right? But very nice. Eh, perdón, creo que alguien me habló, but I'm not sure if that was, um, who was that? The Maris, was it you? Creo que escuché la voz de alguien, but I couldn't identify it. <laughs> so tell me. No, teacher. No, okay, guys, preguntas, dudas. Hagamos lo siguiente, guys. Let's do the following. Se nos va a complicar dar direcciones eh, una vez no nos logremos aprender las instrucciones. So, intentemos, guys, cinco minutitos mañana antes de la clase. Revisen las instrucciones. Eh, ya les voy a mandar por ahí un video para que ustedes lo revisen. And uh, each again, right, turn right, turn left, go straight, go to the end of the street. And uh, lo practicamos cinco minutitos tomorrow again para que se vuelva más fácil. Este tema es bien útil, it's really useful, and that's why um, dar instrucciones se vuelve, you know, super important, right? Donde sea que vayan, guys, if you travel, o si van al Tunco, you know. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. One more, one time. Eh, uno de mis amigos was in Guasapa y alguien le preguntó, hey, uh, I need to go to Chalatenango. Am I on the way? Am I correct here? Where should I go? My friend couldn't speak English. Él entendió que preguntaba a Chalate, right? And he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he didn't know what to say. Y lo único que tenía que decir es siga recto. So that is the, the importance of giving instructions. And that's why uh, vamos a revisar de mañana, so only, only five minutes. Uh, but please, guys, eh, revisen las instrucciones uh -huh. before. Uh -huh. Para que se vuelva mucho más fácil. Um, now, oh. we're going to like check something really quick, que okay. es parte del tema de ahora. And here we have the following. Tenemos mentioned rules, prohibitions at my workplace. Previously, estábamos hablando un poquito de las prohibiciones, qué es lo que pueden hacer, qué es lo que no pueden hacer. So take a look at the following thingy right here. It says, listen to the teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with the partner. Uh, vamos a leer solamente algunas palabras y ustedes me ayudan, guys. For example, here we have procedures. We have employees. We have happened. We have caught. We have not allowed. We have values. Uh, and that's it. So guys, repeat with me, please. Procedures. 
procedures. Procedures. Procedures. Pro Procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. There we go. Employee. Employee. Very nice. Okay. Happened. 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 Mm -hmm. Very nice. Caught. 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 Okay. Caught. Allowed. 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 Mm -hmm. Allowed. Exactly. Values. 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 Very nice. Values. Okay, sounds good. Now let me have just some people read it. Uh, guys, ¿quién quiere leer? Aquí no hemos escuchado las voces. Who haven't we heard? Okay, thank you, Georgina. Perfect. So you can be Sandra and escuché la voz de un hombre, a man's voice. I think it was okay, Jorge. Perfect. So, Mr. Narvaez, help us with Mr. C. And Georgina, help us with Sandra. Oh my God, no sabía que se podían sacar emojis de diferente color. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's new for me. Okay, uh, Georgina, you can start. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Miss. Okay. Um. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Mr. Sia. I want to know about the producer procedures. Procedures. Uh -huh. With the new employee. Very nice. Well, he cannot continue with those. Mm -hmm. Georgina. Um, I see. It is because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and he is no allowed. I understand. Uh, he knew, knew mm -hmm. the val values. values of our company so there is no excuse mm -hmm. and also it is it is not allowed allowed, allowed to sleep in world hours mm -hmm. you are right this is also not allowed to use the cell phone in world's calls okay thank you so much okay guys look at this look at this it says, um, he cannot continue with us. Y le preguntan, ¿es por lo que pasó? Is it because of what happened? Guys, ¿qué pasó? What happened in this uh, place, right? ¿Y por qué lo despidieron a esa persona? Why, the, why was the person fired? Okay. He used the cell phone. Ajá, uh, se durmió, he fell asleep. He used the cell phone, pero hay algo más. There is one more. Uh, he caught smoking inside yeah, the company. Yeah, he was caught smoking inside the company. Guys, ¿los despedirían por eso? Would you be fired for that? No, teacher. No. ¿Por dormirse? Can you sleep in work hours? Yes, teacher. <laughs> no, really. So, no les despedirían por dormirse? Wouldn't you be fired for sleeping? Yes, you no, would be fired. No. No, en la empresa tenemos un compañerito que llega a dormir y no lo despiden. Oh my God, are you serious? Eh, pero, where? ¿A dónde duermen? Y no están serious? contratando. <laughs> <risa> ¿Cómo se llama la empresa? Oh. <risa> Necesito un empleo para diciembre. Can I go and apply and sleep? <risa> okay. Are you serious, Jorge? ¿Pero dónde duerme? Where does the person sleep? Uh, él está enfrente de donde de, de mí. O sea, yo estoy atrás de él. Él está en okay. el centro y más adelante hay otros dos compañeros. ¿En qué bolsa sleep in the office? Uh, 
Bueno, no sé si tiene office, uh, si solo son como cubículas, también le podemos llamar spot. No, es un... ¿Con áreas área compartidas? Completa. Sí. Ok, ¿y todo el mundo se entera? ¿Everybody notices him? Yes, teacher, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> ok, Jorge, honestly, ¿se ha dormido alguna vez? Have you ever fallen asleep at work? Me? Uh -huh. ¿Me? ¿Ya? Yeah. No, teacher. No. <laughs> I mean, teacher. Ya. Yeah. ¿Usted qué hiciera si tuviera un compañero que llega solo a dormir mientras usted trabaja? <laughs> no, you know, in my job, no se puede. I mean, guys, como voy a dar la clase. <laughs> teacher, <laughs> so, uh, teacher, estamos en la clase. <laughs> teacher, oh my God. No, me he sentido muy mal de salud sometimes. And I'm down, ¿no? El medicamento, you know, nos hace sentir mal, right? Pero I have never fallen asleep. You know, hablamos de alguien, inmediatamente reacciono. <laughs> But guys, ¿alguna vez se quedado dormido? Have you ever fallen asleep? Nobody. Nadie se ha quedado dormido, like, five minutes. Porque se sienten súper mal, because you're feeling bad. Or you feel sick. No. Boys, ¿Cuándo? yo ya me, me he quedado así. Sánchez, no. Pero no me he dormido. Ajá, pero ah, no okay. me he dormido. Resting, descansando los ojos, but. <laughs> but you don't fall asleep. Okay. Boys, girls, no, never. Michelle, Abigail. I, I usually go to sleep after lunch. Yeah. I go ah. to my car ah, and okay. I have a, some you time have a to nap. sleep. So you take a nap. Nap. I yes, don't know. Sir, porque no es como que se quede profundamente dormido, so you take a nap. Toma como una siesta, right? So you take a nap. But sometimes I sleep like a bird. Oh, like a baby. But how long? 10 minutes? No, uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, deeply asleep. Wow, that's nice. And in your car? Yes, in my car. Oh, why not in the office? No, because I can't do that. But it is your lunch hour. It is not permitted? Or you don't feel comfortable? I'm sorry? Uh, yeah, uh, why not in your office? It is not permitted or you don't feel comfortable sleeping in your That's, office. I, I don't feel comfortable. Oh. I prefer go to my car and sleep there. Okay. In, in case you are salivating. <laughs> <laughs> or make some noise. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> car? I snore. Roncar. Okay. Snore. So in case no, you okay, snore, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> do you snore? Imagine being in the office and snoring, and alguien se le ocurre hacer un TikTok. I know, Mr. Some co -worker, Some coworker uh, did, did that. They recorded the person. Yes, other oh. coworkers uh, take a picture and take a video about it. Oh, did, yes. did the person get into trouble? No, no, just kidding. Oh, okay, just for the fun. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Yeah, but it's, yeah, okay. okay. But your car is tainted? So, auto está polarizado? Is your car tainted? Yes, but I down the windows. Ah, yeah, I was asking, you know, no se vaya a quedar afectado there or something, but okay. I would well, say in my car, I park in my car under a big tree in the garden. Ah, okay. How do you nice. say sombra? Sh shade or shadow. Okay. So you have like a big shade. Yes. That would be shade. Ah, oh, nice. That is really fresh, I imagine. Yes. So that's under a, a big shade. Okay, cool, cool. Yo creo que los demás les da penita contarnos que si se han quedado dormido. I don't think nobody has never like fallen asleep or taken a nap. But you're gonna tell us later. So 
Look at it. Uh, the person says he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. Guys, uh, I don't know if you are uh, like into smoking. That's not a question. But the question is, se puede fumar? Can you uh, smoke in, the, in your company? Do you know? Do you have no. any idea? No. 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 Okay. Smoke. So you can't. It is not allowed to smoke. All right. Um, what about sleeping? So in el caso de Jorge, yes, right? So you can take a nap in uh, his company and that's okay. In um, case, okay. In yeah. my case, in my case, eh, es permitido, como It is allowed. In, in, in my lunch. My lunch is uh, uh, one hour and 15 minutes. One hour fifteen. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, because okay. uh, uh, because uh, is company is Korean company. Eh, oh. Ellos, ellos sí permiten eso que canten por hora de almuerzo. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. No sé si es en Corea que ellos tienen la regla que si el empleado se duerme es más productivo. Exactly. Are you serious? Oh my God, ¿qué tanto puede dormir? How much can you sleep? <laughs> One hour? Uh, oh, 30 minutes. Or just during your lunch time? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, because creería que there was a country que tenía como esa, esa política, right? Uh, yeah. If the employee falls asleep, es porque sure. ha trabajado. Yes, Jorge? For example, in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, they have a uh, the place or the relaxed songs mm -hmm. for her, for uh, their employees. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you can um, uh, relax or or play um, some games or only you can stay in the um, uh, how I, I don't know with uh, they have uh, some place. If you can uh, see, uh, see, yeah, yeah, see a uh, um, a picture or uh, stay relaxed in the sofa uh, in their countries, uh, mm -hmm. have uh, these policies. Uh, mm -hmm. If uh, I don't know, uh, they say that the people work more more better if uh, they they stay in relax mm, okay yeah some well some american companies especially in the call center industry they no. have some something that is called game rooms uh, mm -hmm. that is really similar i don't know if it's similar to what uh, jorge mentions uh, so a game room is like you have some coaches or some sofas. Yeah. Uh, you have video games, so uh -huh. you can go, you can sleep, you can um, go and take a nap. So and it is perfect. That's totally permitted. But in your um, in your break you or in your time lunch for, time, you have time for relax. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Or they have games like futbolito and all yeah. those things, right? Yeah. Um, I included in the chat this word that is chill, because um, uh, chill, right, es cuando decimos relajándose. No sé si han escuchado la expresión, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Oh, chilling. So chilling es como relajándose, uh, maybe the chilling time uh, or relaxation time. So we can have a chilling time as well. Okay, very interesting. That is in Japan. Mm. Oh. By the way, uh, um, now that Mauricio mentioned Korea, Korea uh, Mauricio, quick question. Um, yeah. In Korea, in South Korea, I knew that there, there was a policy that you had to go drinking with your bosses to have a better relationship. Uh, no, 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 no drinking. Uh, say, uh, Bebida alcohólica. Mm -hmm. Drinks, alcoholic drinks. Yeah. No, no es permitido, no permiso. Ah, okay. Because in, in Korea, well, I follow a TikToker <laughs> from Korea and she said that people do that. No, in 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 uh, our country, 
-hmm. it's not permission but in in south korea yes mm -hmm. yes uh, they can uh, you can for example if your boss uh, to invite you or in the in your break uh, mm -hmm. you can drink with him in in your in your office or in your in your place or yes ah. in South korea yes but not in el salvador no here no no, no. Ah, okay but you know some companies they allow it for example um i had a student uh he was a corporate lawyer and he said that on fridays porque el ambiente de los abogados es demasiado, you know, stressful. They said that Friday afternoon, they had a barbecue. They can have, they could have beers in, in the office. And that was totally fine. I was like, wow, really nice. Um, a few years ago, uh, I work in, in um, um, I don't know, it, do you know the prison American Park? American Park Santa Ana or Santa Pico? Ana. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I have heard it. In this place, um, uh, a few years ago, that uh, um, a company, the the head coach or a plant manager, manager, is, mm -hmm. yeah, manager is Korean, and and. I I know uh, this person on mm -hmm. Friday night invited mm -hmm. their their employees to oh. drink and 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 cook um a barbecue and oh. this uh, yeah yeah but oh oh and eat the dog oh yes yes. <laughs> Uh, the name I don't remember is a uh, <laughs> Decotex plant. Um, but you mentioned that you worked in American Park. That means that you were not invited to, or that person was not your manager. No, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, you mentioned that there was a floor manager who invited the employees yes yes, yes. Uh, that means that but you mentioned that you worked in that place in this place yeah but well, he was not your manager um, what no. was he um i don't know what is playing um you are doing a nice job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I work in and in, uh, in in front of this plant. Ah, and, so you didn't work no, in that specific no, no, area. No, no, ah, okay. no. got it. Got I work, it. I work, I mm -hmm. work in front of this plant, and I can see mm -hmm. the uh, the these people. That was so bad. You just saw them. <laughs> <laughs> That was so much. Okay. Uh, yeah, but but I, I totally believe you because imagine guys, people who work in Coca-Cola, uh, so they produce pills and everything. So they they can drink. Actually, they are allowed to take drinks to their houses. Uh, I don't remember how many, but they can do that. So wow, there are companies with really nice policies. So let's take a look at this really quick. Normally, um, this expression of it is allowed, lo utilizamos para lo que está permitido, right? For everything that is permitted. Uh, previously, we checked must, like you must, but si se fijan, if you pay attention, ahora cambia un poquito la forma como lo decimos, and we use the word it is. It is allowed, and then we say what? So it is not allowed to sleep. I'm sorry, my coffee is still coming back. All right. But here we have, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone. So when we're talking about these policies, right? Like lo que está permitido, what it is permitted and what it is not permitted. So we use be allowed to. The full word, um, it's called be, 
allowed to, right? So lo pronunciamos como allowed, allowed. to, right? That's the one. And I can simply say it is allowed. So está permitido. It is allowed to. And then I need the verb, right? Or no está permitido. It is not allowed to. Uh, also, yo también puedo decir a mí me es permitido. So, but para cambiar un poquito, I am allowed to, right? So I am allowed to. Uh, you are allowed to. You are allowed to. So if you take a look, lo puedo utilizar con todos los pronombres. La diferencia es que debe de llevar el verbo to be. I am allowed to. You are allowed to. Um, we are allowed to. Nos es permitido, right? So, and we are talking about todo lo que podemos and we can and we cannot sure. do in our workplace. Yes, Hector. Una, un, one question. Because why? Yeah. So why? In the allow is no use ing mm -hmm. plus the uh, or uh, the verb to be. Why? Um, that is a really good question. Pero no lo quiero confundir porque hay algo que se llama voz pasiva. And lo van a ver por ahí cuando lleguen a, a intermedios avanzados. <laughs> so wait for it. Um, but eh, se puede utilizar ing cuando algo está sucediendo, cuando es futuro. Pero en este caso la estructura ya va de esta manera. So ya lo utilizamos eh, como, por ejemplo, can. Ah, ok. So ya sé cuál es can. Entonces, be allowed to. Toda la frase se considera una especie de auxiliar. This is considered kind of an auxiliary. Y ya lo utilizamos de esa forma. So, Ya está como amarrado y ya no lo podemos cambiar. We are not going to change it. Si quisiera, guys, if I would like, si quisiera hacerlo en pasado, like me era permitido o era permitido, lo único que hago es verb be, verb to be, lo cambio pasado. Ah, en el pasado yeah. it was allowed. Era permitido. Negative, lo mismo. It wasn't allowed. Or if I want to say, a mí no me era permitido. Oh, lo mismo. I am, lo cambio a I was. I was allowed to. Me era permitido, pero siempre necesito decir el que, right? Um, for example, when I was younger, cuando era mucho más joven, uh, no me era permitido salir. Uh, I was not allowed to, um, what, arrive home late or leave my house at night. Um, but Again, puedo ir cambiando, puedo ir jugando con todos los pronombres, pero esto de acá no lo voy a cambiar. Y tal vez puedo cambiar el verbo to be para presente pasado, but el allowed to lo voy a utilizar así, right? Eso no, no va a surgir o no va a tener ningún, ninguna modificación. Ok, guys. So talking about your company. Imagine that we're talking about the, the regulations. ¿Qué es lo que sí es permitido? So, las mismas ideas que ya discutimos antes, ahora expresamoslas con allowed. So, ¿qué es permitido? What is allowed in your company? So, uh, for example, if I speak about inglés corporativo, it is allowed to, oh, it is allowed to use your dictionaries or translators, translators. So it is allowed to use your dictionaries or translators. Um, imagine that we say, for example, in caso de exámenes, in case um, we have an evaluation, eh, una evaluación like TOEFL, TOEIC, o una evaluación mucho más eh, fuerte, it is not allowed to check your phone. Or también puedo cambiarlo y digo de una sola vez, en vez de it is not allowed, puedo utilizar a ti no te es permitido. You are not allowed to check your phone. So puedo jugar con cualquiera de ellos. Uh, questions, guys? Doubts? Uh, let's take a look at some examples y luego revisamos... Eh, some of your own rules. Take a look here. 
Uh, in the following page, in the página, page number 26, tenemos un par de ejemplos. Use, it is not allowed to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. It is not allowed to smoke inside the facility. It is not allowed to take tools home. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. It is not allowed to use your cell phone. And it is not allowed to sleep in working hours. Just in Jorge's place. It is not allowed to run in any area of the company. So it is porque estamos hablando de un lugar, right? We are talking about a place. Pero claro, eso lo podemos ir cambiando. Um, guys, really quick, tenemos un ejercicio de escritura. Vamos a limitarlo. We're going to limit it a little bit. Um, and uh, guys, please, escribamos tres, regula tres regulations. Write three regulations of your workplace. Three regulation solamente con tres guys only three i think we're fine so que es permitido o que no es permitido only three guys i'm gonna give you like two minutes that's enough so que si se puede que no se puede what are you allowed to do Let me know when you finish, guys. I think I finished. Yeah, right. It's not fácil. It's very easy to make it. Okay, guys. So tell us, ¿qué está permitido hacer? What is something you can do? I am allowed to use uh -huh. sneakers. Ah, okay, that's nice. I am not allowed to wear the sneakers. <laughs> I cannot wear like, yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, guys, what else? Give us more. What are you allowed to do? I am not. Is... Uh, Hector? It is allowed to listen music. Ah, very nice. It is, but with headphones, with earphones, or like in a speaker, in the loudspeaker? Like in a speaker, teacher. Ah, very nice. Okay. So it is allowed to listen to music. All right. Uh, just the money. I am not allowed to okay. smoke. Ah, yeah. You're not allowed to smoke. Okay. Guys, help us. Any other prohibition? In my workplace, it's not allowed swimming. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's unbelievable. There is a swimming pool and you can use it. Okay, you are not allowed. But wait, you are not allowed to? So no, no es permitido at all? Sorry? So you are not allowed to. So no le es permitido. Está prohibido. Okay. 
Like yes. terminantemente prohibido. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So you're not allowed to swim. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, guys, anything sure. else? Yes? It is not allowed to take money. It is not allowed to take money. Where do you work in order? Or what do you do at work? Do you work uh, in the how bank? How do you say cachica? Ah, okay, from the saving account. So you're not allowed to take money. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh, yes. From the saving account, okay. Anything else, guys? In my company, <clears throat> it's not allowed to play video game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is not allowed to play video games. Are you allowed to watch Caso Cerrado in your company? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No, okay. no. No, even in lunch break? No, not that way. <laughs> okay. Guys, are you allowed to watch Netflix, Caso Cerrado, si no tienen trabajo, if, you're, if you don't have like uh, some work to do? Si se puede? Can you do that? <laughs> or it is not allowed at all? I am allowed. Yes? Yes, I am. Watch Merlina. <laughs> Merlina? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. So, si está libre, if you are off, if you got no work to do, you, you can do those activities. So you're allowed to watch games or play games or watch TV or something. Yes, teacher, I can, but uh, que mi jefe no se fije. <laughs> ah, ah, pero no está permitido, so it is not allowed. Yes. <laughs> it is not allowed, but you do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Sounds good. We are allowed to sing in the party. Ah, yes, definitely. So guys, any other prohibition or anything else that you're allowed to do? So allowed is como si se puede, right? That openly, su jefe dice, se puede, you can do it. Like you can listen to music in the loudest speaker. Anything else? Teacher, mm -hmm. in my workplace, is no allowed be inside warehouses. Uh, is you don't use your helmet and your boat. Ah, so you're not allowed to go into the company. In the warehouses, in the bodegas. In the warehouses. Yes. If you uh, don't wear the helmet and boots. Yes, oh. for example, I have boot, special boot, botas de cubo. Mm -hmm, like industrial boots or yes. safety boots. Yes. Okay. And goggles? Uh, no, no, because it's medicine. Ah, okay. Medicine. Are, okay, uh, do you work in the laboratory? Yes, it's okay. a pharmaceutical company. Okay, question. Are you allowed to put on makeup? Are you al allowed to wear makeup when you go into the warehouse? Depends the warehouse. Uh, mm -hmm. Si es materia prima, you can use mm -hmm. makeup. And you have okay. to use um, uh, some gorros. Este okay. no, is no helmet, is gorro, and you like don't use, you don't use um, boot, but you use este zapatillas. <laughs> Les Les slats. Slats. Yes. Ah, and other things, you have to use an special uniform. You have to um, uh, uh, get dress changed the um, la ropa del día and you have okay. to use other uniform so you need to have like two like outfits or like one it's an special area it's an special area with um, um casilleros mm -hmm. and you have and to lockers. put your lockers and you have to put your clothes there and you have to use other uniform to in inside the warehouse but mm -hmm. in materia prima Okay, um, now, are you allowed to wear jewelry? I, I don't understand the question, teacher. A jewelry. Let me write it. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with this word. Are you allowed to wear jewelry? Like ah, earrings, no. bracelets? No, you can't. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So you are not... Wash, you can use wash, jewelry, earrings. Nothing, nothing. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, because they are super strict. That's why I was uh, yes. asking about it. And you it. can mm -hmm. have your um, nails with esmalte. You have to use, in this case, if you oh. have if you have acrylic, you have to use uh, gloves. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And if you have nail polish, what happens with the nail polish? Do you have to remove it? You have to, yes. You have to remove it before to, uh, yes. But in this case, you ya have acrylicas. In this case, you have to use gloves. It's the other option, but it's only nail polish. You have to remove. Uh, can I can I wear gloves with nail polish? No, in this case, no. You have to Are remove. Are you serious? That is a strict. Okay, okay. So you're not allowed to wear jewelry. Guys, jewelry is joyería, right? Earrings, bracelets, um, necklaces. So jewelry is everything related to joyería. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you for sharing those with us. Uh, Georgina, are you ready? Um, my company, it is not allowed to have a loving relation and co-workers. Okay. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the same is for my company too. Oh, you don't right have, uh, it's not a love, a love relations with co-workers. Mm, okay. So you're another thing uh -huh. is is not allow a uh, use the cell phone at the mm -hmm. same time that you are walking in the malls. Uh, yeah. Because okay. the industrial security sees you they um make a a AP a, a action de personal a ah, action personal. I'll yeah, yes. we, well, that we can call it a warning. So that 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 would be a sort of warning. Como una advertencia, we can call it. Mm -hmm. Oh, es que your company is really strict with industrial safety. I think that is the point. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Guys, I'm sure you have more. <laughs> I'm sure you have definitely a lot of ideas to share with us. Anything else? Teacher in my company it is allowed to rest two hours. Really? Every day? Yes, yes teacher. But rest, like sleeping and doing whatever you want? See whatever you want. I want. But do you need to compensate the two hours, or are they just free? Yes, uh, two hours to rest, uh, free, mm -hmm. and twelve and two. From twelve to two. What time do you yes. finish working? Sorry. What time? What time do you finish uh, working? Six p.m. 6 p.m. And you start working at 7 or at 8? I start working at 8 p.m. At 8, from 8 to 6. Pero creo que ahí le aumentan la hora, right? <laughs> so no es como tan gratuita. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Two hours. So two hours for lunch. Ah, you can yes. sleep. You can take a nap and nicely. Okay. Thank you. Guys, anybody else? Alguien más tiene like any sort of policy, regulation that it wants to share? Okay. If not, guys, revisamos super quick something here. Que ahora es el uso de make and let and be allowed to. So, be allowed to es como un can, right? Me es permitido, tengo el permiso de. Pero tenemos más expresiones como make y tenemos expresiones como let. Normally, les llamamos a ellos auxiliares porque ellos nos ayudan a hablar de cosas que no son permitidas. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ellos, guys? Easy. Be allowed to es cuando hablo de prohibiciones. Um, so, todo lo que... Me es permitido lo que puedo, no puedo hacer, right? 
what about the others? Uh, let me take a look. Sorry, let me just change it here. And so we have be allowed to, be allowed to. Tenemos let y tenemos make. All right. So podemos utilizar los guys y podemos irlos alternando sometimes. But take a look at this one. Is a, I can say, for example, it is allowed in my company to take a nap. Take a nap in your uh, lunch time. Lunch time. Okay. So it is allowed to porque me es permitido. ¿Qué sucede, guys? What would happen con let? Let. También me ayuda a hablar un poquito de prohibiciones, pero let es un poquito diferente. Cause let es algo que los dejan hacer. No una prohibición, sino como les dan bandería verde, right? Ah, pueden hacerlo sin problema. So, no es necesariamente algo que se arregla o no, sino que ustedes tienen la posibilidad de hacerlo. Guys, ¿qué es algo que su jefe los deja hacer? So, I can use my boss. Let's me. Mi jefe me permite o mi jefe me deja. Guys, ¿qué nos permite hacer su jefe? Mm -hmm. Damaris, por ejemplo, said, um, te puedo ver caso cerrado. All right. Pero no sé si el jefe lo, la deja hacerlo. Can you do that? Con, con la autorización del jefe, no? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, mm, there my go. boss, mi jefe inmediato, sí. Incluso okay. a veces se, se queda viendo, pero ya <risa> también comparte. Jefe, el dueño de la compañía ya no. Ah, ok. No, 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 that's perfect. Entonces, because aunque no está permitido, algunas veces hacemos cosas that are not permitted, porque alguien más nos, nos da como paso libre, right? So take a look. Be allowed to es para una regla, prohibición. Pero let es como me permite, me da un poco de libertad, un poco más flexible. So my boss lets me, me deja, siempre digo a quién, lets me watch. Um, what was that? Caso cerrado, right? Caso cerrado. Okay. So my boss lets me watch. Caso cerrado. My previous boss, guys, me dejaba ver Betty la fea. <laughs> so my, my former boss uh, let me watch. Teacher. Yeah, ugly very. Yes. My boss let me listen mm -hmm. to music. Ah, okay. So yes. me permite, right? Exactly. Aunque puede haber una regla que dice que no deben hacerlo. Let me es como me da un poco me da de chance. Exactly. <laughs> that is the idea with let. Guys, ¿qué es lo que sus jefes los dejan hacer? What is something you are allowed to do? Or they let you do? Teacher. Mm -hmm. My boss Hi. lets me. Hi, I'm here. I'm still here. Did uh, you finish playing? Did you finish rehearsing? Yes, teacher. Oh, we have okay. finished. Nice, uh, nice. My boss lets me use my cell phone in the Ah, okay. Office. Okay, so he lets you use the uh, cell phone? He lets me, yes. And okay. But is there a rule? Is there a prohibition that you cannot use your cell phone? No, no. No. Okay. But he lets you use it. Okay. Nice, yes. nice. Now, take a look at the following, guys. And be allowed to. Necesitamos el to. Pero acá ya no necesito nada. So, my boss lets me watch. De una sola vez va el verbo, right? So, my, my boss lets me use the cell phone. There you go. Ya no utilizamos to. Guys, ¿qué más? ¿Qué los dejan hacer? Let's change it. Digamos que no es su My jefe. Boss, let's Ajá. me watch the Mundial. Ah, the World Cup. <laughs> ok, the so the World Cup. All right. Or digamos que ya no es su jefe, sino que es su esposa. Your wife. Or your husband, right? So, my wife lets me. My husband lets me. Guys, ¿qué les permiten hacer? What do your wife and your husband let you do? Or your children in that case, but okay. <laughs> o si son sus papás, or your parents. What do your parents let you do? Yes. 
Teacher. Yes. My husband let me buy shoes. <laughs> oh, okay. A lot? Like a lot of shoes? Que afortunado. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, pero no es que se los compre, right? Sino que le permite que compre lo que usted quiera. Yes. Ah, ok, ya, yeah, ok, so ya, yeah, no es que se los compre. So let me es como me permite, right? Mm -hmm. So let's me. Uh, Teacher. Does, yes. Y, y let's tiene, tiene pasado alguna forma de poder utilizarlo en pasado. That is right, that is right. If you take a look, le he agregado ese here, my boss lets me, uh, because... Esto, eh, remember, en presente utilizo tercera persona, right? And por esto le he agregado acá ese. Pero si yo lo dejo como my boss, let me watch, caso cerrado. Ah, este es pasado. This is past. So la diferencia tan grande está en la S. My boss let me. Ah, es pasado. My boss lets me. Es presente. Right? Uh, es una, una letra la que hace una gran diferencia. So, okay. a very nice question. Yes. Um, ok. ¿Qué sucede si lo cambiamos y yo digo yo permito? I let. Ya no necesito la, la S, right? Porque no es tercera persona. So, no sé si tienen subordinados. So, I let my employees. Guys, ¿qué permiten que otras personas hagan? Do you have employees? Do you have subordinates? Do you have children? What do you let your children do? Eh, si están casados, what do you let your spouse do? So, ¿qué dejan que ellos hagan, guys? What do you let them do? I let, I let my employees uh -huh. um, of my children. Mm, well, podemos usar cualquiera de ellos. So, for example, si tengo empleados, yo puedo decir, dejo mi, que mis empleados se vayan temprano. I let my employees leave early, right? Ah, ya entendí, si Tengo teacher. hijos, mm -hmm, I can say, I let my children um, I let visit my their children, friends. Mm -hmm. I let my children watch video, video game. Ah, exactly. So I let my children watch or play video games. Exactly. So, si tienen esposo, esposa, wife, or husband, ah, yo dejo que mi esposo llegue tarde. Dejo que mi esposa salga tarde. I don't know, guys. <laughs> so, what do you let them do? ¿Qué los dejan que hagan? O yo no dejo. También puedo decir lo mismo, right? Si fuera negativa, this is really easy. Son negativas, guys. ¿Cómo las hacemos? Ah, solo con don. So, I don't let. Yo no dejo, yo no permito. So, if you take a look, tenemos eh, varias, you know, eh, formas de decirlo. Guys, um, ¿dejan que sus hijos hagan algo? ¿O les prohíben que hagan algo? I let my coworkers play PlayStation. Ah, you let them do. Ok, ok. But when you say, I let my co-workers, es como porque no les pone el dedo. No, my employees. Ah, ok. Tiene como subordinados. So you have, you have like, ah, ok. So I let yes. my employees. Ok. Yes. Or my subordinates. Mm -hmm. Do you let them play video games? Yes. We have two rooms to play. With uh, one room with PlayStation and other room with um, Xbox. Ah, so you have a game room. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's really nice. Really good. Guys, what about the rest of you? Do you have children? What do you let your children do? Do you have subordinates? What do you let your subordinates do? Hagamos lo siguiente. Puede que nos tome un poquito de tiempo ahorita, like get the idea, porque son dos expresiones. So, intentemos escribir al menos uh, tres ideas más. Eh, con let, right? Tres positivas y negativas otras tres, right? Eh, acá he escrito my employees, my children, my spouse, porque después de let yo necesito decir a quién. Por ejemplo, yo no dejo que nadie toque mis cosas. I don't let, siempre debo decir a quién. Entonces, I don't let anybody 
touch my stuff. No dejo que nadie se me acerque. I don't let anybody get close to you. No dejo que nadie me hable cuando estoy, no sé, en reuniones. I don't let anybody to talk to me or to call me eh, during my meeting. Entonces también podemos utilizarlo, but acá en este pedacito después de let, necesito decir a quién, right? Esa es como la única diferencia here. So guys, eh, escribamos tres ejemplos con let, tres ejemplos positivos, tres ejemplos negativos, y las comparamos y las compartimos tomorrow. We're going to be comparing and sharing them tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. Um, it is pretty much about time. Uh, just give me one moment. Uh, les voy a tomar la asistencia super quick. I'm just going to get your attendance. Give me one second. Give me just a moment. A sec. Ok, solamente me regalan confirmación verbal, guys, que estamos por acá para que quede en la grabación of today. So... Give me a moment. My computer freaks out by the ending of the class, like all the time. Okay. So, solamente regalarme confirmación, please. Um, Abigail uh, Mejia. Present. Gracias, Miss. Andrea Amalia. Blanca Hernandez. Presente. Gracias, Miss Georgina. Present. Thank you, uh, Hector. Está por ahí. Presente. Jorge Sánchez. Present teacher. Gracias, Jorge Narváez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan José. Presente teacher. Gracias, José Ezequiel. <coughs> Present teacher. Gracias, And Julio César. Julio está por acá hace un momento. Kenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no sé qué le pasó a Kevin. Lady. Gracias, Miss. Mauricio. Presente, Che. Noé. Presente. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Salvador. <laughs> Tiene una voz bien. Deep. Uh, Salvador está por acá. Sandra Bonilla. Well, Abigail Bonilla. Dinora. Present teacher. Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. And Maris. Well, it's up right me. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Gracias por acompañarnos in today's session, guys. Nos vemos, eh, if God willing, el día de mañana. Ya se nos termina la semana, guys, and we are moving forward. So, gracias a todos. Guys, eh, solamente una pregunta antes que se me vayan. ¿Tienen problemas con la plataforma? No logré eh, leer, like, en los comentarios si tenían dificultades o si era con un ejercicio específico. ¿Lograron solventarlo de la plataforma? Yo sí, teacher. Yes. Ah, bye. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Si no, let me know para que lo revisemos. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Que descansen. Sleep well. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye. See you, bye. see you. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.